GINRQ is indicated to slow kidney function decline in adults at risk of rapidly progressing autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, or ADPKD. GINRQ can cause serious and potentially fatal liver injury. Acute liver failure requiring liver transplantation has been reported. Measure transaminases, ALT-AST, and bilirubin before initiating treatment at two weeks and four weeks after initiation, then monthly for the first 18 months and every three months thereafter. Prompt action in response to laboratory abnormalities, signs, or symptoms indicative of hepatic injury can mitigate but not eliminate the risk of serious hepatotoxicity. Because of the risks of serious liver injury, GINRQ is available only through a risk evaluation and mitigation strategy program called the GINRQ REMS program. Physicians should use their clinical judgment when assessing each patient for treatment with GINRQ. A good place to start is by examining your patient's kidney function, or EGFR. If kidney function appears stable in your patient with ADPKD, they may still be at risk of rapid disease progression. Kidney damage may be occurring before we see a change in EGFR, so additional assessment is required. If, however, your patient is experiencing rapidly declining kidney function, they could be an appropriate candidate for treatment. Today, I want to talk about patients with rapid EGFR decline in a little more detail. We regularly rely on EGFR to measure kidney function and to tell us how a patient's disease is progressing. This is important because each patient with ADPKD progresses differently. So, seeing a rapid decline in EGFR tells me a lot of what I need to know. At this point, I don't generally obtain a kidney size measurement or assess progression any further. I'm thinking about slowing kidney function decline. That is when I consider if GINRQ is appropriate. GINRQ is the first and only FDA-approved medicine indicated to slow kidney function decline in adults at risk of rapidly progressing ADPKD. In fact, it is the only disease-modifying treatment we can offer that has been studied in the two largest clinical trials of patients with ADPKD across a range of chronic kidney disease stages. So, if you see declining kidney function, it could be time to consider GINRQ. Indication and important safety information for GINRQ tolbaptan. GINRQ is indicated to slow kidney function decline in adults at risk of rapidly progressing autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, ADPKD. Warning, risk of serious liver injury. GINRQ can cause serious and potentially fatal liver injury. Acute liver failure requiring liver transplantation has been reported. Measure transaminases, ALT, AST, and bilirubin before initiating treatment at two weeks and four weeks after initiation, then monthly for the first 18 months and every three months thereafter. Prompt action in response to laboratory abnormalities, signs, or symptoms indicative of hepatic injury can mitigate but not eliminate the risk of serious hepatotoxicity. Because of the risks of serious liver injury, GINRQ is available only through a risk evaluation and mitigation strategy program called the GINRQ REMS program. Contraindications. History, signs, or symptoms of significant liver impairment or injury. This contraindication does not apply to uncomplicated polycystic liver disease. Taking strong CYP3A inhibitors with uncorrected abnormal blood sodium concentrations. Unable to sense or respond to thirst, hypovolemia, hypersensitivity, for example, anaphylaxis, rash, to GINRQ or any component of the product. Uncorrected urinary outflow obstruction, anuria. Serious liver injury. GINRQ can cause serious and potentially fatal liver injury. Acute liver failure requiring liver transplantation has been reported in the post-marketing ADPKD experience. Discontinuation in response to laboratory abnormalities or signs or symptoms of liver injury, such as fatigue, anorexia, nausea, right upper abdominal discomfort, vomiting, fever, rash, puritis, icterus, 
dark urine, or jaundice can reduce the risk of severe hepatotoxicity. To reduce the risk of significant or irreversible liver injury, assess ALT, AST, and bilirubin prior to initiating GenarQ at two weeks and four weeks after initiation, then monthly for 18 months and every three months thereafter. Hypernatremia, dehydration, and hypovolemia. GenarQ therapy increases free water clearance, which can lead to dehydration, hypovolemia, and hypernatremia. Instruct patients to drink water when thirsty and throughout the day and night if awake. Monitor for weight loss, tachycardia, and hypotension because they may signal dehydration. Ensure abnormalities in sodium concentrations are corrected before initiating therapy. If serum sodium increases above normal or the patient becomes hypovolemic or dehydrated and fluid intake cannot be increased, suspend GenarQ until serum sodium, hydration status, and volume status parameters are within the normal range. Inhibitors of CYP3A. Concomitant use of GenarQ with drugs that are moderate or strong CYP3A inhibitors, for example, ketoconazole, itraconazole, lopinavir ritonavir, indinavir ritonavir, ritonavir, and conavaptan, increases tolvaptan exposure. Use with strong CYP3A inhibitors is contraindicated. Dose reduction of GenarQ is recommended for patients taking moderate CYP3A inhibitors. Patients should avoid grapefruit juice beverages while taking GenarQ. Adverse reactions. Most common observed adverse reactions with GenarQ, incidence greater than 10%, and at least twice that for placebo, were thirst, polyuria, nocturia, palachiuria, and polydipsia. Other drug interactions. Strong CYP3A inducers. Co-administration with strong CYP3A inducers reduces exposure to GenarQ. Avoid concomitant use of GenarQ with strong CYP3A inducers. V2 receptor agonist. Tolvaptan interferes with V2 agonist activity of desmopressin, DDAVP. Avoid concomitant use of GenarQ with a V2 agonist. Pregnancy and lactation. Based on animal data, GenarQ may cause fetal harm. In general, GenarQ should be discontinued during pregnancy. Advise women not to breastfeed during treatment with GenarQ. To report suspected adverse reactions, contact Otsuka America Pharmaceutical Incorporated at 1-800-438-9927 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088, www.fda.gov slash medwatch.